Good evening, Aymara and Martian. Thank you so much for being on time. How are you today? Hello? Are you already at home or are you still driving home? Having dinner? Hi, good evening, teacher. You. I am at home and I'm ready today. Great, excellent. How was the traffic? Uh, it's always terrible, but yeah. I I am on time. Okay, that's good. And yes, it rained a lot, teacher? right? I yeah. Great. Uh, yes, it rained a lot in the afternoon, so I yeah. pick up my son like 20 minutes later because we couldn't get him because of the rain. But then um, I drove home and it was the traffic was kind of heavy, but not so much. So that's I think it was a good day. <laughs> Thank you. For yes. Do you, do you drive while it's raining, teacher? Uh, sometimes I do. Uh, but if I have a chance to to stop, because when it is raining really heavy and it is difficult to to see the street, I usually stop. I stop by any place or if it is safe, I stayed outside on the street. But um, if I'm maybe close to a shopping mall or a cafe, I'd rather stop and get a coffee and then continue driving. That is good, teacher. <laughs> it is better wait that never have an accident because because of the rain yes yes they said it's better later than never that's right yeah and that street is really really dangerous i was driving the last um i think it was two weeks ago and then it started raining heavy but i was already on other in the on the street of uh, Los Choros, yeah? So I couldn't do anything but continue driving. And that was the day that um, um, a motorcycle rider um, died there. So it was horrible. It was, it was really sad. It is really dangerous to um, drive or ride any motorcycles to when it is raining. Yes, the the last week it was it was uh, um, yes. dangerous and in Los Chorros exactly for and the Los Chorros <laughs> in front of Los Chorros. Yeah, that street is really really dangerous. So, uh, well, anywhere that you drive, it, it's a, it's a kind of danger. But that one is the most dangerous, I guess. Oh, well, so I'm happy that you are already at home. Thank you so much for joining early. Emerson, Guadalupe, Elizabeth. I have Alex too, Francisco, Manuel. I'm Mara and my dear, we are the first two. Uh, Jose and Hazel, thank you so much for being on time. And I hope that you have had a very good day today. And uh, I see a Okay, Guadalupe said that she's ready. That's awesome. So we're going to start. Let me share my screen with you. I added like a two more vocabulary exercises. Yesterday we were practicing about um, internet marketing, uh, vocabulary as well. And we did an exercise in which we match the words with the concepts or, or definitions. And these are some of the words and phrases that we um, worked on yesterday. We had app, blog, the cloud, download, podcast, spyware, text, and virus. And what we need to do is to read the sentences that we have here and use one of these words or phrases in order to complete them. The first one is already done for us as an example. And this is, this app 
let me find the lowest price for gasoline for my phone. Mm, seems to be very useful. <laughs> so yes, we already used the word up, meaning that we cannot use that word again. And uh, so we have to continue completing the sentences. Let us read sentence number two and tell me which word do you think that best complete that one? Is, uh, download. Yes, it starts with a question and it says, do you have Wi-Fi here? I need to download some files for work. Excellent. So there, the word that completes is download. Very good. So we're gonna use it here, all right. Downward. Okay, good. The next one, teacher. Uh huh. Uh, it, now that I store everything in the cloud, I can access my data from anywhere. That's correct. The cloud. Very good. And the next, it could be if your device is, run, is running really slowly, it probably has a virus. Excellent. That's correct. I'll get present. Virus. Yes, correct. Excellent. Virus. What about number five? Uh, call, call, writes opinions, pieces about music and posts them on his blog. Excellent. Five, it will be blog. Eight, thank you so much. Number six is podcast. Excellent. Yeah. Can you read it, please? Even though I'm always abroad, is I still listen to podcast of shows from my favorite Phantom Radio Station Online. That is correct. Excellent, Maria. Thank you so much. We are missing two, number seven and eight. X. Okay, Elizabeth, can you read it, please? Yes. Many people find it's more convenient to text than to talk to people on the phone. Excellent. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Great. Uh, last one, volunteer. A spyware, right? Correct. Can you read it, please? Yes. Some programs use spyware um, 
to gather private information without your knowledge. Yes, private. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you for your participation. We did it really fast. You're very good at remembering. Well, you remind the yesterday's vocabulary and you made a correct use of it. So let me clear all this drawing so that we can move to the next exercise. Okay, now connecting ideas. You remember that yesterday we practiced a conversation in which we uh, find some expressions like to clarify or to support what you are saying. So we have some more expressions here to connect ideas in different ways. Uh, we have um, additionally, as a matter of fact, as a result, for example, for instance, furthermore, in fact, likewise, nevertheless, on the other hand, similarly, and therefore. Uh, each of them has a different functions. So for example, um, some of them are used to add information, some others to compare or contrast the information to emphasize ideas, to give examples, or to show a result. So we have to classify all these words into the correct category. The first one is already done for us. Uh, for example, for adding information, we can use additionally to add information. Uh, which of, of these ones uh, can also help us to add information? Likewise. In, likewise, uh, it is to compare or contrast. Oh. Ajá, uh -huh. es para comparar, likewise. Entonces, aquí deberíamos escribir likewise. Uh, let me put it back. Say it right here. Likewise. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you a chance for you to complete the chart in your notebook, and then we're going to um, share. Uh, I think that we worked on that the previous model, but we can review. So that is a good exercise to review.
Are you finished? Um, yes, teacher. So what do you have in uh, under add information? Well, I have to, well, additionally, furthermore, and in fact. Okay, yes, we have furthermore to add information. Mm, additional, furthermore. Uh, in fact, but I don't know. In, I think in fact is for emphasize. Right, it's for emphasize. Okay, mm. uh huh. Um, as a result. Mm. No. Mm. No, I only. Okay. Don't that's okay, thank you so much. Uh, to add information, you can use, for example, wait, why is not writing? Let's see, for example, and for instance, for example, and for instance, Okay, so to add information, we have additionally, furthermore, for example, and for instance. Now, what do you have um, to compare or contrast? We have likewise. On the other hand. On the other hand, yes. On the other hand, yes, any other? Compare Never. Uh -huh. Nevertheless. Yes, that is correct. We are missing one. Similarly. Excellent, similarly. Okay, so those are the ones that we can use to compare or contrast. Likewise, on the other hand, nevertheless, and similarly. Now to emphasize. Uh, therefore. Mm, no. no. <clears throat> As a result. Hmm. You're close. In fact, well, <laughs> in addition, uh, to emphasize, hmm. yeah, it is similar to the first one. In fact, and there is another one. For instance, mm, no. Therefore, mm -mm. do you give up? As a matter of fact, for the most. Okay. Of fact. This is the one that we were missing as a matter of fact. So to emphasize, we're going to use in fact and as a matter of fact. Now to give example. For example. Mm -hmm. For example. So is that you see, you can use it to add information and also to give an example. Good. For example, any other one? As a result. Uh, as a result would be in the last category, show a result. Uh, um, for instance. That's correct, for instance. OK, 
Okay, so we have, for example, and for instance, to give an example. Now, to show result, you already said, as a result, and the other one, uh in fact mm. oh uh mm -hmm. in fact is to emphasize as okay. emphasizar, to emphasize in fact well uh, for example i think mm, mm, um no for example la podemos usar para dar un ejemplo o para agregar información Okay. Hmm. Uh, therefore. That's correct. Therefore. Oh. Therefore. Okay. So, I I'll give you time for you to take maybe a screenshot or a photo because. Uh, we're going to be using this information for the next exercise. Ready? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to clear our drawing so I can continue. No, wait, wait a minute, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, did somebody has a picture or a screenshot? Alguien tomó picture o un screenshot que nos lo pueda compartir en el meeting chat? Somebody. Sure. Let me let me share it. Ah, or in the WhatsApp group. Uh huh. You can do oh, it in okay. the WhatsApp group or in the meeting chat. Thank you so much. Is it? Okay, there it is. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you. Okay, I have it here as well in the meeting chat. And then the WhatsApp group. Thank you so much, Emerson and Manuel. So you have the, um, ahí tenemos ya el chart. Es que esta, en esta, si paso a la siguiente diapositiva, siguen saliendo las letras, entonces tengo que borrarlas. Ok, so uh, expressions for, let me move this bar, expressions for connecting ideas formally. So as you remember, the expressions that we already worked on are used to uh, connect ideas. It depends if we are going to connect ideas of contrast or contrast information or contrasting ideas, or if we're going to give an example, or if we are going to emphasize an idea or point of view. So we have different options that we can use. Now, we have to read here and choose the correct words to complete the text. Um, we are going to do this individually. Uh, you can work, um, Let's see, I sent this, um, yes, I already sent this to the WhatsApp group so that you can, um, you can have it handy and let's see. So you can work here in the, in your presentations, if you're working on your computer or if you're, uh, I don't know if it's possible to do so using a cell phone, but if you're working in a computer, you can, um, Choose the correct words here and circle them. Remember that you just need to, to choose here in the toolbar what it says, um, annotate, and then you can uh, draw. You just draw here. For example, I select a circle maybe, and I can draw my circle here, and I select the correct option. So, but before that, I have to read, right? <laughs> Technology has had a positive impact in our life. For the most part, and we have similarly, as a matter of fact, and additionally, 
it's hard to imagine how we could live without our computer. So here, as a matter of fact, is the correct option. So you um, pueden seleccionar donde dice draw. Después quieren annotate, luego donde dice draw. Y ahí pueden escoger el que está como cuadradito, el que está círculo. O pueden darle en, en modificar texto o algo así. Y luego recuerden, le pueden tomar un screenshot uh, para luego comparar las respuestas. Pero esto sí, como les decía, ¿verdad? Si uno se mueve de, de, de diapositiva, se mueve con todo y el, el dibujito es, entonces, ajá, es, es mejor este, um, ve, ahí está el, el circulito, entonces sí, hay que borrar. Para eso les decía que o lo guardan o toman un screenshot y lo guardan para que no, no les pase eso. Um, ok, I'll give you time for you to read the text and complete using the correct words to complete it. And uh, remember that you have them in the previous chart so that you can, um, and sometimes it's, it's necessary to read the whole thing so we can have an idea if it is a contrasting a uh, point of view or idea that is been, or if you are adding an example, et cetera. So we have to read and read back again if it's necessary. So I'll give you time for you to complete this exercise and then we're going to check together.
Have you finished this exercise or do you need more time? Finish, teacher. <clears throat> Okay, so we have the first part already done. Let's see. Um, it's okay. So as a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine how we could live without our computer, smartphone, and apps. So what do you have next? These things have made our lives so easy. Therefore, some technology issues keep me up at night. Okay, good. And, uh-huh. Uh, continue? Yes, that's correct. Okay, um, the, the number three, uh, for example, what can we do about spyware? As soon as we download software to get rid of it, someone creates a new way to spy on our computers. Uh, in fact, there's spyware nasty cousin, the virus, which can win, ruin anyone's day. Uh -huh. It's, a constant, it's yeah. a constant battle to overcome these issues. But we can take some common sense steps. Okay. Always, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Continue. Good job. Uh, uh, always remember to back up your doc documents. Additionally, update your software whenever you get alerts from the manufacturers. Doing these things can help keep technology a positive part of daily life. Excellent. Very well done. All your answers are correct. I hope that the rest of you have the same answers since they are correct. So I'm going to stop sharing for a little while. So I need to check attendance. Let me in one second so I can uh, get this file. Right. Okay, let's see, Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Alex Enrique Lemos. Present teacher. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Gertrudis Aymara Vaquerano. Present teacher. Thank you. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Jose Enrique Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Pialto. Julissa Yamilet Vialta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Luis Javier Castillo. Present, Miss. Thank you. Miguel Esau García. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Granda. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present. Thank you. Victor Noé Bonilla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Vidal Byron Ruiz. Present, teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, now let me continue sharing. Okay, so we have one more exercise is similar to the previous one. It's here because it is uh, like uh, divided into sentences. It's not a whole paragraph. So that's going to be easier. And we have to choose the connector. It's similar as the one that we read in the, that we did in the reading. But in this case, we are choosing the connector for the sentences that we have here. So it must be easier. It says number one, not, not drop his phone on the sidewalk yesterday. As a result, it doesn't work anymore. So in this, we only have two options. We have to select the correct one. So let's read number two. Parents should monitor the website their children visit. Additionally, on the other hand, they need to talk to the children about internet safety. So what do you think that best complete this sentence? Additionally. Great, that is correct. Thank you so much, additionally. Okay, we did number one and two as examples. Let's complete number three, four, five, and six, and then we will check.
finished. Okay, I uh, volunteer to read the number three.
Number three, cell phones are becoming more advanced. Mm -hmm. Some likewise have many the capabilities of a computer. Mm. No. No. <sighs> uh, so yeah, likewise is like to compare or contrast. And in this case, so the options, are, uh -huh. for instance, what is those the use of, for instance? For instance, goes for, um, check. Provision, add information. Uh -huh. To add information or to give an example. Mm -hmm. Entonces, for instance, es para añadir información o dar un ejemplo. Y en la número 3 nos está diciendo que los celulares se están volviendo como más avanzados. Y nos da el ejemplo de que mmm, algunos eh, tienen muchas eh, de las eh, capacidades de una computadora. Es como dando un ejemplo de lo que se ha dicho anteriormente, que están más viniendo más avanzados. Eh, por ejemplo... Ya, muchos de ellos tienen las capacidades de una computadora. So, yes, okay. the best option there is for instance. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, number four. Uh, number four. Penny switch internet service providers to save money. In fact, she's now spending $50 less each month. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Supporting the opinion. Great. That is correct. And uh, number five. Volunteer for number five. Um, is I really don't like having a TV in my apartment. On the other hand, it is useful to have one when I have friends over. Great, that's correct. Thank you so much. Uh, finally, number six. Number six. Number six. Higher education has become much more common due to, to technology. For example, my cousin completed her degree online while living in another country. Great, that is correct. So number six is, for example, Good. Now, okay. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> Give me one second. What is anything?
not responding. Start Here it is. Okay, I'm sharing back again since I had some issues here. Okay. Uh, one more exercise. Tom loves technology. This is related to the previous one, and so it's similar. Tom loves technology. Similarly, or for example, he has the latest cell phone. So you know that similarly, what is the use of similarly? Similarly is to make comparisons, right? So that's not the correct option for this one. So the sentence would be, Tom loves technology. For example, he has the latest cell phone. Many airports offer expensive, why inexpensive, inexpensive. Many airports offer inexpensive Wi-Fi. Nevertheless, or in fact, at some it's even free. What do you think? One second, I'll check my connection. Can you hear me? The teacher, the second, uh, nevertheless. Uh, are you sure? Uh, many airports offer in Spanish. So if I, um, in fact, yes, seven free. Uh huh. In fact, as it's, it's like um to emphasize, es para enfatizar alguna idea previa, verdad? In fact, está diciendo que muchos aeropuertos ofrecen a uh, Wi-Fi que no es caro, no es caro. De hecho, en algunos es aún eh, es gratis. Uh -huh. Está como haciendo um un énfasis. The process in fact, para enfatizar la idea previa. Y nevertheless, el uso de nevertheless es para hacer una comparación o un contraste. Entonces aquí no, en esta oración no, no, no podemos hacer comparación o contraste, o so las ideas son similares. Entonces está enfatizando la primera, ¿verdad? Así que aquí sería in fact. Let's work on the number three, four, five, and six. Choosing the correct one. Pueden chequear siempre en el cartelito. Ahí creo que tienen la imagen todavía. En el meeting chat. 
Está lloviendo fuertecito. Let me go and close my window. I'm back again. It's raining heavy. It's been raining since I, I think it started to rain at noon in Santa Tecla. Also in San Salvador, it was raining at, at noon. Uh, is, is it um is it that it it has started the winter or is it a hurricane or something like that? Have you heard anything on the news? I read that uh they were influenced for a tropical depression, but I think it's not related to the new hurricane because there's another one god god keep us safe <laughs> yeah Okay, what about number three? What do you think? Many of my friends' computers have been damaged by viruses. I'm going to update my antivirus software. And we have the options, nevertheless. Remember that nevertheless is used for compare or contrast. To compare or to contrast ideas. And then the other option is therefore. Therefore is to show a result. So what is the correct one? Therefore. Therefore. Excellent. Mm -hmm. This is the result. I'm going to update my antivirus software. Number four, it says some websites aren't reliable. As a result, or likewise, many people are being misinformed. As a result? As a result, that is correct. As a result, is um yes it shows eh, nos muestra un resultado verdad o, o, o y es lo que resulta la consecuencia verdad y likewise es como para comparar entonces ahí si no 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 de acuerdo a, a la idea de la oración 4, no no se está haciendo una comparación 
sino que es un, en la segunda oración estamos introduciendo el resultado de, eh, de lo que se dice al principio. Some websites are unreliable. As a result, many people are being misinformed. Okay. Uh, number five. Number five said, uh, few people could have predicted recent advance in internet technology. For example, or likewise, predicting the future of the internet is difficult. Um, likewise. Likewise. Excellent. Sería likewise porque ¿cuál es el uso de likewise? Es para comparar o contrastar. Entonces aquí está um, like a uh, few people who have predicted recent advantages in the internet technology. Likewise, predicting the future of internet is difficult. So it is a compare or contrast. Está comparando o contrastando. En este caso, pues es como una comparación con lo que se ha dicho al principio, ¿verdad? Pocas personas han podido predecir uh, los avances recientes en internet. So, para predecir el futuro del internet es, es difícil. Um, internet. Identity theft is something very serious. On the other hand, or as a matter of fact, it can ruin your life. As a matter of fact. Excellent. As a matter of fact, ¿cuál es el uso de as a matter of fact? Es para enfatizar, enfatizar, enfatizar ajá, para hacer emphasize. Y on the other hand, es para comparar o contrastar. Entonces aquí no, no está haciendo ni un comparación ni un contraste, sino que el que alguien le robe la, inter, la in, identidad te está diciendo que es algo serio. As a matter of fact. It can ruin your life. Puede arruinar tu vida. So that is uh, para enfatizar la primera idea de que el robo de la identidad en internet es bien serio. Puede arruinar la vida de alguien. So that's enfatizando la primera idea. So that's good. Uh, I know it's a, a, a lot of uh, a lot of things to do with this kind of exercises because tenemos que estar como practicando y practicando y ver qué, qué uso tienen estas eh, palabras o frases para que se nos vayan como quedando. Esto ya habíamos visto un poco en el módulo anterior, pero pues, eh, como le repito, hay que practicarlas mucho. Let me clear all drawings and the mouse to continue in the next slide. What's your take on, on technology? Let's read here. Le read these comments about technology. Do you agree or disagree? So let's practice uh, reading with these comments. Okay, what's your take on, on technology? Who wants to read the first one? Jewel Chan Soul. He says, apps are cool, aren't they? I download lots of them to my smartphone. Wouldn't it be great if phones came loaded with even more apps? Ana from Sao Paulo wants to read.
I volunteer to read by Anna. Okay, I'll read. Isn't it weird how some people use mobile devices constantly? They don't notice anything around them. It's actually dangerous, don't you think? Now let's read Sarah's opinion. Sarah's from Los Angeles. Uh, volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Don't you think there are too many websites full of misinformation? Shouldn't the government find, find sites that contain false information? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Volunteer to read about Jiang Ming from Taipei. Hey, teacher. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Doesn't it seem like kids spend too much time playing violent video games? It makes kids more aggressive, doesn't it? Excellent. Thank you so much. Aggressive. Mm -hmm. More aggressive. Well, I really agree. I agree with all of them. Uh, but yes, we have to work in this. It's a pay work. But first, we're going to do this individually. And um, then we're going to compare our ideas. Do you think the government should regulate any of these things? Well, mm, for me, I, I think that it is not really important that your cell phone comes with um with more apps already loaded. You can download the ones that you rather that you prefer. It. Um, so it is not necessary. I guess that we can focus on Anna, Jiang, and Sarah's opinion. And remember, whenever possible use the connectors that we've been practicing like likewise on the other hand therefore and etc to connect your ideas i give you time for you to prepare your take on
I already shared my take on with you. So for me, I think that, um, well, I agree with Jan Ming, uh, where it says, that's when it seems like kids spend too much time playing violent video games. It makes kids more aggressive, doesn't it? I think that, yes, the government should ban violent video games. Kids are becoming aggressive, therefore, school shootings are becoming more and more common. So I need a comma for aggressive. <laughs> but yes, I'm using therefore to show the consequence or the result of kids playing or spending too much time playing video games. You can share your take comes here in the chat if you prefer. Are you still working on them? Well, I have uh, my comments about uh, the idea from Sarah from Los Angeles. Uh huh. Well, I think uh, for cert certainly there's a lot of websites containing misinformation. In fact, the internet has made it easier to false information to the to any 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 person can be can 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 get access to that on the other hand it's very uh, difficult to government to get a lock or or to configure some policies to provide the false information. Mm -hmm. Or to disregard the false information. And yes, I, I completely agree. And I have heard that it's um, easier, it, it's really easy to for people to um, uh, post the information on Wikipedia. So it's not really, um, um, a website like to trust and write all the information that is there. Probably most of the information is is accurate, but there I, I have heard that you can there's some information that is false on Wikipedia. Yeah, because Wikipedia anyone can get access to to edit all the information about anything. Ah, uh, I have heard that. So that's a good example. Thank you so much for your for sharing your take on. Any other volunteer? No more volunteers to share take on. Okay, um, today in the morning, uh, they were checking the students' progress and I wrote in the chat because um, there is a, too many people that is still missing section one. So you should have been, oh, you should have finished section one, two, midterm exam section three, and you should be finishing the section number four. And uh, remember that we're going to finish the model uh, next week, Tuesday, and it's one week. It's just like uh, five days and we finish. So please, please work on the platform, complete the exercise. And if you need help, just raise your hand. We are a chat away so that we can help you. Uh, does anybody here need assistance with the platform? 
I rather uh, do exercises in order to increase the vocabulary, in order to learn new vocabulary, uh, to improve grammar, speaking, etc., pronunciation, rather to work in the platform because it's something that you can do by yourself. And uh, um, so I'd rather to take advantage of the time here in the meeting, but if necessary, I'm going to take time for, um, completing the exercises with you so that you can check the answers. So please, um, well, that's, uh, if we check back again and the grade continues the same, I'm going to take time from the class to work on the platform. This, I really don't like to do that, but if necessary, I will. So thank you so much for being here in today's section. And remember, if you need help with the platform, just, chat and we're going to help you. Thank you for being here and see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow, teacher. Hey, sleep Bye, well. Teacher. Bye, see sleep tomorrow. well. See you, teacher. See you.